thank God for those uh, uh, who were able to, again, join the sanctuary also, those who have live stream. We thank God for bringing us through the week, allowing no hurt or danger to come upon us. And uh, we thank God for uh, a new day yes. and a new year. Again, I mean, and, um, that's, uh, that we know we, we know that no matter what happens, God is in control. And yeah. like I said, this COVID thing is going on for so long, and I think everybody just wanted to be over right now. You know, but it's it's a part of what's going on now, and all we can do is pray. You know, and God make things better, and they are getting better as it seems. You know, it's, you have to be careful. Take that with a grain of salt too. But we thank God for this uh, keep us through the year, yeah. and we ask God to also take us to the, take us into this new year with better expectations. Yeah. We thank God for the teachings we're getting now, because it, it's, it's telling us we need to come higher. Right. You know, we should look to come higher anyway. Yeah. You know, so we, we thank God. We ask. Not only that we should pray for ourselves, but we also pray for the world system that it gets better and better, you know, and God knows all things. You know, and um, right now we're going to ask uh, Deacon Reed to come forth to give us a scripture and a prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We want to thank you. We want to give you the honor and the glory, glory God. realizing you're worthy of all the praise. Mm -hmm. And Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity of being yes. in the house of the Lord to worship you, mm -hmm. to give praises to you, Father. Glory and Father, we pray for the sick and the shedding once mm -hmm. again, and all our sisters and brothers who are on the prayer list, our prayer God in Jesus' name. And praise God, Father, we pray, praise God, for our pastor and our elders. Hallelujah. We pray for our sisters and brothers today. Glory we pray for the children today, Father. Oh, Father, continue to feed us with your word, praise God, that we may be a doer of your word. Hallelujah. We thank you for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for being an example through the scripture, praise God, how you came and spoke to the disciples, praise God, teaching them the way, praise God. And Father, we want to thank you this morning for teaching us the way, Father. Continue to open our ears and our heart to understand what does say the Lord. We bless your name. We praise your name. We give you the honor and the praises. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Our scripture lesson today, uh -huh. praise the Lord, will be coming from Psalms 121. Yes. Psalms 121. Glory and it reads, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill yes. from which cometh my help. Mm -hmm. My help cometh from the Lord, yes. which made heaven and earth. All right. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep, praise the Lord. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade, the shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, yes. nor the moon by night. Uh -huh. The Lord shall preserve thee from the, the all evils, praise the Lord. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and evil forevermore. Amen. We thank the Lord for the reading of the scripture. Let may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of it. Yes. Thank, you. thank God for the read reading those scriptures. Um but now we're coming for you and again we off the thing of all the gifts God has given us. Yeah. So one way we give back is our praise and our worship. So again, we ask you to join us as soon as possible, as much as possible. Because again, there's, you can't beat God giving. <laughs> the song says, no matter how hard you cry, you can't beat God giving. You know, and again, um, we ask you to join the worship team 
and pray with us and for us as we bring before you what God has given to us. And our first selection will be, oh, how he loves us. And no matter what, a lot of people use the phrase, we love him because he first loved us. And oh, how he loved us. You know? and we don't know the extent that God loved us, but we, we intend to get back to him, or attempt to get back to him. At least some of the love is given us. Oh, how he loves us. He is jealous of me. Love's like a hurricane. I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his winds and mercy. When all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory. Then I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. And oh, how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us so. Say he
Let's give it to him. Yeah. This, this is really cool. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, all you could ask or think. 
according to the power that works in me, in me, say God is able to do just what he Let's give the Lord some praise in the house of the Lord. God is able. He is able. He is able. Hallelujah. Amen. 
we give him praise, we give him praise, we give him whatever he said he is going to do, amen, he is going to do every promise, amen, I don't care how it looks, how things look, may look bad, but God is able to fulfill every promise, amen, that he has made unto his children, amen, we give God praise, we thank God for worshiping, we thank God for everybody in the house of the Lord, amen, on this morning, thank God, God is so good unto us, kept us, amen, one more time, amen, all through the week, amen, even Allow us to come together one more time, amen, to worship and to praise his holy name, amen. And we just give him all the glory on this morning, amen. We thank God for everyone who is joining us uh, in the house of the Lord, amen. And uh, we thank God for those who are also joining us, amen. And we'll view later on, amen, on social media, amen. We appreciate uh, your being with us today, amen. And we just give God praise, amen. He is so good. Amen. We're going to bless him always. Amen. We should always give God praise. Amen. When we enter the sanctuary, we enter with praise. Amen. On our hearts and minds. Amen. We come into his gates with thanksgiving and we enter his courts with praise. Amen. We, we bless the name of our God. Amen. We praise God. We're going to uh, go into the word of the Lord, but we just want to remind every one of our women's uh, conference that is coming up the week of the 17th. 17th, 18th, and 19th, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, do join us uh, in our women's conference. Amen. The flyer should be on our uh, on our Facebook page and our, our media. Uh, do join us. Amen. Hallelujah, uh, for that, it's going to be an exciting time, and uh, we're we're looking forward to it on uh, this month. Amen. March 17th, 18th, and 19th. Also, for those of the house, amen, uh, the sign-up sheet for those who want to uh, be certified in CPR, the sign-up is uh, now on the backboard, amen, and so you can sign uh, there if you uh, want to be um, certified in CPR. Uh, the uh, first two signers, amen, we are taken care of, and then uh, those who are uh, others who sign up, um, uh, half of it will be taken care of for you also, amen. So we want you to have this knowledge. We uh, This is uh, a service we want to give unto you. Uh, so uh, go ahead, amen, and sign up for that. It's going to be March. It's going to be April 1st, Saturday, April the 1st, uh, from 12 to 2, 12 to 12 to 2, amen. So, and it's going to be at our fellowship hall, amen. Uh, I think somebody's trying to sign up right now. So, amen. <laughs> uh, do sign up, amen. It, it is it is good to it's good knowledge. It's good to have, and uh, and you never know when you're going to need it, amen. And uh, you're, you're going to have your card, and you're going to be certified for two years, uh, to, uh, and, and and official, amen. And so do take advantage of that. All right. We praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to be in 1 John this morning. Uh, 1 John yeah. chapter number 2, verse 24 through 27. Amen. We thank God for everybody in the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For Deacon Reed. Amen. Ella Pelham. Uh, Mother Myers. Amen. Thank God for my wife. Amen. Lady Tiffany uh, Myers and all the saints of God. We're so Hallelujah, grateful God. Uh, for each and every one. Amen. Thank God for our wonderful praise team on today. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. amen. Singing the praise of the Lord. Amen. Ushering us into the presence of the Lord. Amen. We give God praise. We give God praise. First John, first John, yeah. chapter number two and verses 24 through 27. And it reads, and let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, yeah. ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. Yeah. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. Uh, these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, you shall abide 
in him. Ye shall abide in him. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for this time that you've allowed us to come together. Praise you for your people. I pray, God, as we go into your word, that you speak to our hearts and to our minds. Bless us, O oh God, as only you can, Lord. Yes, yes. Speak to us Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. I pray that your people are built and lifted, O oh God, edified and strengthened. I pray, God, you are glorified through your word on today, God. Bless us now as only you can. These things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 I want to speak this morning, amen, on the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth. I want to deal with this because, well, I wasn't here last Sunday, man, but I did preach last Sunday. And last Sunday I preached, the devil is a liar. Right here. The devil is a liar. And, and, and so this is kind of a follow-up of that, amen. Uh, the devil is a liar. I just want to recap uh, that, amen. You know, the devil, the scripture lets us know that uh, the devil is a liar, and he is the father of lies. Amen. He was a he was a liar from the beginning. He is the original liar, <laughs> and uh, and so uh, and and in being a liar, he uh, the father of a lie is uh, originator. It is a um, uh, father also is a transmitter. It is also a transmitter, and so so as being the father of it, he's very good at it. He's very good at lying. He's uh, able to deceive, amen. See, uh, lying is 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 saying something uh, with the intent to deceive, right? Um, and 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 I brought out, you know, uh, some things are figures of speech, but they may not be true statements, but they are figures of speech. So uh -huh. I don't necessarily look at it as a lie, uh, such as it's raining cats and dogs. Okay, it's not really raining cats or dogs. This is a figure of speech that we use to say it's raining very hard, or you know, it's really pouring down, man. And so, so uh, you know, it's not really raining cats or dogs, and I know it's not really raining in cats and dogs. So I'm not trying to deceive you. Uh, I'm just making a figure of speech, amen. It's also in the scripture. I think uh, uh, one of the prophets says uh, so, uh, somebody is a cake half baked. Okay, that means they don't, they are cake half baked, or uh, and 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 uh, somebody uh, I think Jesus said somebody was a fox. Um, is a figure of, of, of speech really, right, and so right. uh, it's not really lying. I mean, the lie come in when there is an attempt to deceive. That's right. The enemy is a big deceiver, and 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 I brought out that if he was able to to turn the uh, a third of the angels against God, then he's got to be a pretty good liar. He's got to be. He's got to be good at what he does, and so, right. so, so he is a liar, amen. His attempt to uh, deceive uh, people, amen. And there is a lying. Uh, we see it all over the place, amen. In politics, and we just, all, you know, uh, those who were following the uh, that case, um, you know, with the with the the, 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 the Murdoch guy, man, uh, getting on the stand and lying, and and uh, and and being able to try to deceive and, and to cry and do all these things and and uh, and, and, and the whole time is uh, it seems like he's, he's not really telling the truth he is trying to lie and uh, and uh, and deceive uh, and get the emotions of the people uh, to be attached to him so that uh, he can get off amen if he did he'd get off for what uh, he has done amen that is uh, the lie, amen, is a lying time, amen. We expect politicians to lie. We expect people to lie, amen. But but we thank God that that uh, even though there are lies all around us, there is uh, there is something that uh, combats, or there is something that the only thing that can deal with a lie is the truth. Right, right. The only thing that can deal with a lie is the truth. And so I want to deal today with the spirit of truth because the enemy has been so. Uh, aggressive in his lying, aggressive, amen, uh, with uh, the things that he will say. He will even take certain facts and twist them, and uh, and uh, he will he would do certain things. Even use scripture, amen, as he did on Jesus, amen. He, uh, imagine using scripture on Jesus. And so this is how the deception can be. It is 
so crafty, so crafty, man. You know, uh, you know, the, uh, he told Jesus, you know, the, 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 the ship that says if you jump off this uh, temple, uh, then, then the angels will uh, uh, care, uh, catch you and, 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 and take charge of you. And, and, and so and so this lie uh, is used or this twist is used uh, of the scripture uh, used on Jesus in a weak point. Uh, and, and, and so uh, the devil's really telling him, amen, you really don't have to go through all the suffering. Amen. Just go ahead and show the people right. how great you are. Amen. Yeah, right. and, and, and let the angels catch you in the air and that's let you right. float down. Yeah. Can you imagine somebody jumps off a mountain or a peak and, amen, in, in mid drop, they begin to float down. Amen. Can you imagine, amen, how many people may have believed in him if, if he had actually followed that? Amen. But there was a temptation. It was a lie. It was, a, it was something used to deceive and cause Jesus. Amen. To do uh, something uh, that was not in the plan of God. Amen. But thank God that Jesus knew and he knows the truth. Amen. He knows the truth. He knows that we should not tempt the Lord our God. He knows. Amen. He knew the truth. Amen. Well enough. Even in his weakness, he knew the truth well enough. Amen. To, to be able to combat whatever the enemy brought unto him. Amen. Why? Because he had the spirit of of truth. Amen. Yeah. He is the truth. Amen. I know yeah. Jesus is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And so, so the, uh, the apostle here is writing him in First John. He said, let that therefore the body you which ye have heard from the beginning. Amen. Now if you read a couple of verses above, amen, uh, there has been questioning uh, concerning uh, who Jesus was. Amen. People were uh, challenging if Jesus was really the Christ. Amen. And so John here has to address that. Amen. He says, don't let it slip. Amen. Don't don't let that go what you have learned. Let that therefore abide in you which you have heard from the beginning. Amen. This is a foundational truth. It is a foundational doctrine. Amen. That Jesus is the Christ. Amen. And so if that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he have promised us. Amen. Even eternal life. Amen. This, this, is, a, this is a salvation issue. This is a salvation issue, amen, that we need to understand that Jesus is the Christ, amen. Not everything is a salvation issue, amen, but, but this foundational truth is a salvation uh, issue, amen. So if you can hold on to it, amen, you can uh, experience also eternal life, amen. And he says, these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. See, there were some that were trying to cause, uh, amen, the church uh, in this time, in this area, amen, to no longer believe that Jesus was the Christ. Amen. Amen. So it is important you got to understand. Don't allow them to draw you away or to seduce you, to, to cause you to let go of the things that you have learned, that you've heard. Amen. Uh, uh, through the preaching of the word of God. Amen. Hold on. Sustain the, the foundational truth of the word of God. Amen. Also in the 27th verse, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. How many thank God for the Holy Ghost? Amen. Somebody say the Holy Ghost is a teacher. The anointing on the inside of you is also a teacher. It abideth in you. It's, it remains. It, it rests in us. It rests in us. Amen. We have the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so, so here, amen, I need to explain something to you. Amen. Because many will run with the scripture and say we don't need teachers. Let us understand, amen, the Bible, uh, a, a teacher is a gift to the body of Christ. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. The teacher, uh, God set teachers in the church. If yeah. there was no need for a teacher, then God would not waste that time, amen, and effort and, and put teachers among us. Amen. We are taught the word of God. 
Amen. We are taught the word of God. Amen. Through anointed uh, people of God. Amen. We are taught the word of God. Amen. We thank God Jesus was a teacher. Amen. Uh, uh, Paul and, and the apostles, they were teachers of the word of God. Amen. All these people were teachers. Amen. Teachers uh, are vital to the kingdom of God. Amen. And so, so here, when we're talking about the spirit of God being our teacher, amen, we need to understand that, that, that the, the, the word of God and the spirit of God on inside of us is able, amen, in the moment to let us know what we need to do. Amen. The, the, the spirit of God leads and guides us, teaches us. Amen. And, and so, so the spirit of God is here with us, amen, to give us understanding, to give us knowledge, amen. And, and so that knowledge is, is in us, amen, through the spirit of God, amen. How many thank God that the spirit of God will speak to you in moments in time? So I don't have to run to anybody and ask a question about everything. I don't have to run to uh, this teacher and that teacher. Amen. Uh, uh, I have the spirit of God on the inside of me who is my teacher. Amen. You're not going to be able to call somebody all the time. You're not going to be able, amen, to get in touch with somebody. Amen. But God has put a teacher on the inside of you. And, and, and when you have the word in you and you have the spirit in you, amen, you're not going to be deceived. Amen. You're not going to be thrown off. Amen. So the anointing which you have received of, uh, of him abideth in you. It is the Holy Ghost. Amen. It is the power. It is the anointing. It is the smearing of God that is upon us. Amen. See, there's some things we ought to come to the knowledge of God. Amen. That nobody can twist us on that. Nobody can, can can come along and just say anything to us. Amen. Why? Because we know. We know. Amen. You, you can't deceive me because I know. Amen. I, I know. Amen. Not only through the written word, but I know. Amen. In my spirit. I know according to the Holy Ghost that is operating on the inside of me. Amen. There's certain things that I have come to know. Amen. About God. Amen. You cannot throw me off. Amen. Uh, and, and so the spirit of God is teaching me. It is teaching me. Amen. And we ought to walk even throughout our day hearing and listening to uh, the voice of God. Amen. Because again, there are so many lies in the air. There's so many lies that will come to our minds. So many lies will come along and, and try to deceive us. Amen. The devil is a lie. Amen. But Jesus, amen, he has given us the truth of the word of God. He's given us the truth of the spirit of God on the inside of us. Amen. So we hold on to the truth that we have heard. No seducing here. That is an anointing. There is an anointing. You can't tell me that the Holy Ghost is not real. Because I received. All right. All right. I spoke with tongues. I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I know what happened, amen, when I received, amen. You can't tell me, amen, there is no baptism of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because I know, amen, what dwells on the inside of me, amen. You can't deceive me. You cannot All seduce right. me away from that. To, amen. You, 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 you're wasting your time, amen, by telling me, amen, that there is no Holy Ghost. All right. Because, amen, we have received an anointing. We have been smeared with, amen, the oil of God, amen. And that smearing is a teacher. It is a teacher, amen. The Spirit of God is a teacher, amen. So we thank God for the spirit of the truth. To the spirit of truth, amen, we have the word of God, amen, but we also have the spirit of truth that is only inside of us. Understand, saints, amen, when you read the word of God, you need to read it with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We got all kind of people trying to read and understand scripture, but have no Holy Ghost. My God. Amen. The, the Bible says, it even says that the letter killeth. But the spirit, amen, it giveth life, amen, it's something, amen, that many people are using the letter, amen, and they're doing all kind of things uh, with the letter, amen, of the word, amen, not having understanding of that word, amen, because they're not operating in the spirit of God. That is why the, that's why the word of God can speak to us today, amen. though it was written many, many years ago. 
But when you read it with the Spirit of God, yeah, yeah. it brings it to life. Because the Spirit of God is always moving. The Spirit of God is always present. The Spirit of God is always fresh. So when you read the Word of God, amen, not his, just history, history, amen, not just uh, uh, it, it's something that is written, amen, for, for literature's sake, amen. But the Spirit of God, amen, brings life. The Spirit of God, amen, uh, provokes you. It, it, it brings to life in you the Word of God, amen. I thank God for the Spirit of truth that operates in the children God. of God. See, understand, saints, amen, that, uh, the, the Spirit of God is our leader, amen. We, we're not just we're not just in the letter. The Spirit of God is our leader. Amen. And so that Spirit of God will not go against that which is written. Understand. It will not go against that which is written. Amen. But, but we operate. Amen. We operate in the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God leads us. It guides us. Amen. He shows us the way. Amen. Uh, it, it is all through history. Can you imagine the people who did not even have Scripture? Uh, Noah, as far as we know, didn't have anything written. Yet God told him to preach and to build an ark. He had no point of reference. He had, uh, he didn't have the Holy Ghost as we have, amen, but the Spirit of God spoke to him and told him to build an ark, amen. He had nothing to work from, amen. What, what is an ark? What is, what is an ark for, amen? It, it, it hadn't even rained upon the earth. Right. God watered the earth with the mist and the dew, amen. But there was no there was no downpour of rain upon the earth. So it didn't make sense for when, when God says, build an ark. Because I'm going to make it rain. And I'm going to flood, amen, this place. And so, so the Spirit of God spoke to him, amen. The Spirit of God led him, amen. It guided him. Uh, into what he needed to do, amen. It gave him all the parameters. It gave him everything that he needed, amen. It gave him uh, uh, the, the shape, amen, and, and the and the material, and he and God told him what to put on the ark, amen. But but he didn't have a scripture to go by, amen. Can y'all imagine Job going through what he went through and he had no scripture? Job is a he he even though it's written is we we find it further on in scripture. Job was much later, he was much earlier, amen, he was way back, amen, uh, way back, amen, in, uh, in, in time, amen, uh, probably having no scripture, uh, but he knew, uh, he knew within himself, he said, I know that my Redeemer lived. Yes, yes, amen. He didn't quote a scripture, uh -huh. we quote him today, but, but, but he knew uh, even though what he was going through, even even though he was suffering and amen, and he lost all of his substance and his family, amen, except his wife, and he lost his he lost his animals and his his income, amen. He lost health, amen. But yet he knew that his redeemer lived, amen. He knew that he would. He said, "I would never curse God, amen. I may be going through. I don't understand what I'm going through, but I will not curse." God, amen. He held on to his integrity, amen. Why? Because, amen, there was something uh, that let him know that God is real. God is real, amen. Saints, you got to know within yourself that God is real. You got to know within yourself, amen, that the word of God is right. You got to know within yourself, amen, in any instance, amen, uh, that in anything that you face, any trial that you go through, amen, you got to know who God God is. You got to know the scripture. Amen. And you just got to know it in yourself. Amen. That God is real. Even when I understand what's going on, I know by the spirit of truth that God is real. Amen. God is able to deliver. Amen. And so we thank God for the spirit of truth, the spirit of God that leads us and guides us. Amen. Uh, the scripture says uh, uh, he will even lead us and guide us. 
us into all truth. Amen. John 16, 12 through 13 says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Jesus tells the disciples, amen, I, I got so much more to say, amen, but you can't handle what I got to tell you, amen. Oh, uh, yes, amen. Uh, understand, saints, amen, the word of God written is powerful. The written word is powerful, amen, but there's some things that uh, uh, God is going to open your understanding. He's going to speak to your heart. Uh, he's going to speak to your mind. He's going to give you revelation and knowledge, uh, amen, according to the spirit of God, uh, amen. He says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is coming. He will guide you into all truth, and he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Amen. See, Jesus, amen, he was going to give revelation even, amen, after, amen, he left, amen, all the things that Paul and the apostles wrote, amen, it was revelation, it was revelation, it was understanding of the things of God. Amen. So God wants us to understand, saints, uh, and he wants us to know that there's some things we may not have knowledge of as of right now, but God will open your understanding. God will give you knowledge. God will give you wisdom in things that pertain to life. God will give you knowledge and wisdom in things concerning uh, what we should and should not do. Yes. Amen. God will give you understanding in this instance on what you need to do. Because we have scripture. But the enemy will have you confused. Don't you know sometimes sometimes in, in the prophets uh, God will send the prophet and say fight. Fight. Amen. But there was one prophet who spoke and said, in, an, in, in one instance, he said, you are going to have to surrender. You're going to go in bondage. And all the other prophets were saying, no, 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 we're going to be delivered. But the prophet of God was saying, amen, we are going into bondage, so we need to submit to this. We're not, we're not going to fight. We don't need to fight in this. Amen. We we have been we are, it is our time we have to go into bondage. So go ahead and let them take you into bondage, which didn't make no sense. Because we're the people of God. But they had they had they had sinned against God. They had, they, had, they had betrayed God and God had, God has said this is going to have to be for a while. It's going to have to be. So, so that there, there, there are times uh, where we don't know what to do. Amen. David has to ask the, ask the Lord. Amen. Shall we pursue? Shall we pursue? He didn't know what to do. Amen. And, and the natural knowledge would say, "Let's go ahead and pursue." Amen. Uh, our our wives and our children have been taken off, and Amen. They've beat our people down. Amen. And, and we just uh, David and his men, and, and David. Uh, he's going through a hard time, amen. He's, uh, uh, the men are talking uh, against him, amen, because they were away while the enemy had come in their camp and, and taken their loved ones, and, and, and the men have turned against him, and, amen. He's going through his own grief, amen. His wife is gone, amen. His house has been affected, amen. And, and, and the men, amen, are talking and uh, maybe considering killing him, but and David inquired of the Lord, Lord, shall I pursue? There be some times of, of confusion. You're not going to know what to do. Amen. Uh, and, and so you got to have the spirit of truth. Saints. You got to have uh, the spirit of God on the inside of you. Amen. To know, amen, if I need to submit, if I need to stand up, amen, if I need to sit down, amen. God had to tell Moses, amen, stretch forth your rod, amen. What we're going to do, amen. We're facing the Red Sea. What are we going to do? Amen. And, and the spirit of God spoke and said, stretch forth your rod, amen. And God divided the she uh, amen. It, it, it was the it was the truth, uh, amen, that came to him. Uh, amen. He he probably wondered in his own mind, shall I shall we turn around and fight or uh, uh, shall we take another route, amen? Uh, even though we're we're surrounded and the mountains are here and the, and the water here, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna fight? We're just gonna sit here and let them kill us, amen. Uh, are we gonna are we gonna stand up for ourselves? Uh, amen. All kind of things could have come through his mind, uh, but he asked the Lord. He said, Lord, what shall I do, Lord? 
Lord, what, what do I need to do in this case? Uh, and God tell him something crazy. And God tell him to stretch forth that rod. Stretch forth the rod. Stretch forth the rod. The same rod that, that uh, uh, he, he threw down and, and, and turned to a snake. And the same rod he put forth, amen, and the, and the plagues came. Uh, uh, the saints of God, he thought they was free. He thought everything was good. We out of Egypt. We out. We gone, amen, amen. Goodbye, amen. We uh, uh, see you, amen. We wouldn't want to be you, amen. He thought it was over with. But the one that said, we see we see you, amen, is now pursuing them. They did not know what to do. But the truth, amen, the, the Spirit of God spoke to him and told him what to do. How many thank God for the Spirit of truth? It is the Spirit of truth. Amen. It is our teacher. Amen. Uh, and, and so we thank God for the teacher. Thank God we know what to do, amen, in the instance, in the, in the time because God is speaking. How many thank God he will give you what to say yeah, he he'll give you what to say man I got to I got to end amen but Luke 12 uh, 10 through 12 says and 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 who's whoever whosoever shall speak a word uh, against the son of man it shall be forgiven him but unto him that blasphemeth against uh, the Holy Ghost it shall not to uh, be uh, forgiven amen I just want to let you know something if you I used to wonder amen what 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 can I not be what's blasphemy how can I blaspheme the Holy Ghost you see a lot of y'all talk bad about the Holy Ghost before you got saved you made fun of the Holy Ghost before you got saved and you wonder amen have I blasphemed against the Holy Ghost have I blasphemed this is just a side note y'all amen this is just a side note have I blasphemed against the Holy Ghost uh, but understand saints amen uh, uh, th th is not talking about talking bad about the Holy Ghost Amen. Uh, it says, Amen. Again, whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. Uh, speak, you speak against Jesus Christ, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. Amen. Just briefly, saints. Amen. See, see, the unforgivable sin is the one you don't repent of. Blasphemy, Amen, is putting down the. Uh, and when the spirit, see the Spirit of God speak to us. Uh, even when you're about to do wrong, how many know the Spirit of God will let you know? Amen. You might ignore him. <laughs> All right. You might do what you, you, you planned to do. You might do what was in your mind to do, but, but you knew better, amen, when you did it, amen. You, you knew better, amen, and so, so when the Spirit of God is, is talking to you, amen, and, and, and trying, to, uh, trying to unction you, amen, and you continue to ignore and and you don't repent of the things, amen. See, see, yes, salvation has been provided, but you got to repent. So briefly, the unforgivable sin is the one you never repent of. You never repent of. We'll deal, may deal with that long, another time, amen, more extensively, amen. And, and the 11th verse says, And when they bring you into the synagogue and to the magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing ye shall answer. That's right. Jesus is telling them, amen, I'm going to leave you, and, and they are, after I leave you, they're going to persecute you. They're going to they bring you before these, uh, these rulers. They're going to bring you in certain places, amen. Uh, but understand that, that when they do this, uh, when they bring you to the synagogue, when they bring you to the magistrates, to the powers, uh, amen, don't you worry about what you're going to say. And I want to let you know, amen, saints, it's got to be in you to come out of you. Yes, yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's got to be in you to come out of you, amen. So you've got to have uh, the word of God. You've got to have the spirit of God, uh, amen. And so when they bring you to these people, take no thought to uh, how or what thing ye shall answer or what ye shall say. Oh, yes, for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yes, amen. If I can't think of a scripture, I thank God that the Holy Ghost, amen, gives me a word in the moment. God will speak for me in the moment, amen. Yeah, when they bring accusation against you and they bring you, amen, before people and, uh, and the rulers, there's something about the Holy Ghost, amen. You don't have to sit there and try to figure it out, amen. Yeah, you don't have to sit there and think of an answer. Understand that when you got the Holy Ghost, God will give you an answer in the moment. He'll give you an answer in that same hour, in that same time. 
Amen. The Holy Ghost will begin to speak to you. The Holy Ghost will begin to auction you and teach you and lead you in what you ought to say. Amen. I thank God for the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of Truth. Amen. You are trying to figure things out, but God says unto us, Amen. He is able to give us an answer. He is able to speak to us. He's able to spark to us. He's able, amen, to put forth a word in our mouth. How many thank God for the word that he puts in our mouth? Hey, yes, Lord, even in the moment, amen, thank God for the word that he puts in our mouth. Understand that the truth has to be spoken. Even when the devil begins to lie over you, amen, begin to speak the truth of the word of God. Let the spirit of God on the inside of you begin to speak up and speak the truth of the word of God. When the devil says you're going to die, begin to speak the truth of the word of God and say, I shall live and not die. Oh yes, when he tells you you're going to come at the end, you've got to tell the devil, amen, I am the head. I am not the tail. I am above and I am not beneath. That is the truth of the word of God. That is the truth of the anointing that is on the inside of me. I refuse to listen to every foreign voice. I refuse to listen to the demons and the devils that come to speak to me. I will speak the word of God. I will speak the truth of God. I will speak in the spirit of truth. I will speak the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Even when somebody tried to twist the scripture. Amen. Thank God for the Holy Ghost that is able to give you an answer. Oh yes. There is an answer in the spirit of God. There is an answer in the word of God. When somebody speaks against God, God will give you a word in the moment. Oh yes, the word he gives to that person may be different than the word you want to give to that person. You better hear what the word of God is saying on the inside of you. Somebody might need a rebuke. Somebody might need an encouragement. Somebody might need a scripture. But you better know in the moment, saints. You better know when God begins to speak. You better know what to say. Amen. In the instance. You better know what to do in this situation because it requires the Spirit of God to lead and to guide. It requires the Spirit of God to show you the way. Thank God for the Spirit of truth. It is the Spirit of truth that will reveal if somebody's lying to you. Oh, yes, it might sound good. It, it, it might look good. It might seem good. But the spirit of truth will speak in the moment. The spirit of truth will speak in that time. And it will give you a word for that season. He'll give you a word for the time. It is the power of the spirit of truth. You'll know what scripture to use. Yes, Lord. You know what scripture to use. Why? Because you're using it in the spirit of truth. Oh, yes. The spirit of truth will always build. Listen, even when you tear something down, amen, the spirit of God is always interested in building. It is always, always. I know we hear preaching that condemns and, and curses everybody. <laughs> but God is always you, redemptive. Remember that truth. Thank you, Lord God. God is always, always redemptive. And if God puts something down, yeah. Yeah. he does it only to lift up. That is the truth. He does it because ultimately he wants redemption. Ultimately he wants salvation. Ultimately he wants restoration. That is the spirit of truth, saints. Oh yes, yeah. so even if you got to correct somebody, 
We do it with the spirit of truth. And it's, it is to be redemptive. It is not mean. It is not to, to kill. But it is to redeem. It is to draw. It is to bring men to God. It is to bring clarity to a situation. Hallelujah. I thank God for the spirit of truth. Everybody stand on your feet. I thank God for the spirit of truth. Lord, be my guide. Be my guide. The spirit of truth is speaking in this day. You can have somebody who is brilliant in so many different areas. And because they're so brilliant, you think, I don't have anything to say. Right. Oh, they are psychiatrists. They are psychologists. They are, they are astrophysicists. They, are, they, they, they got all this knowledge. And, they, yeah. and, and they, they run in circles around me. They know a lot of scripture front and back. They know a lot of scripture. But I come to tell you, if you got the Holy Ghost, Thank you, Jesus. Yes. if you got the Spirit of God operate on the inside of you, yes. you come second to nobody. Amen. nobody. Amen. And God will give you a, even a simple word in the moment to turn things on their head, to turn it totally upside down. Amen. Right. To confound right. the, thing, the people that think they're so wise. God will cause you to confound them. That's right. Why? Because of the spirit of truth. The spirit Thank of truth will always kill a lie. Yes, yes. Always. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. It will kill a lie. Kill it. Thank you, Jesus. How many thank God for the spirit of truth? Amen. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of truth, they let you know, amen. I just say, Lord. I've been on the altar, amen. I've been sick. I've been. I've been this and that, amen. But the spirit of truth will come along and say, amen. That is about to change. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I want to pray. For, I want to pray. I want to pray. I want you to pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I thank God for the spirit of truth. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, name, Lord Jesus. we are here in your presence, oh God. God. I'm praying, Lord, Glory be to God. for the spirit of truth Thank you, Jesus. to rise in us. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God, let the spirit of truth rise in us. In the name of Jesus. Name, oh, God, we know the, the lies all around us. Ah, we know, God, God, the things that are coming to our minds and to our uh, to our hearts, oh God. But in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the spirit of truth that dwells on the inside of us. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, for the understanding of your people. I pray, God, that you open our knowledge, oh God, open our understanding, oh God, not only to your written word, God, but to, oh God, even uh, when you're speaking to us, oh God, in every moment, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray, oh God, for that release right now, move, oh God, you know all things, you know all things, oh God, you are truth for always, oh God, you do not deceive, and God, we accept your word, oh God, we, we proclaim your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the release of the spirit of truth, oh God, uh, in your people, oh God, and upon us. In the name of Jesus, help us walk in the spirit of truth. Oh God, help us to walk in the spirit of truth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's give God praise in the house of the Lord. Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thanks the truth is accordance, is in accordance with fact or reality. Yes. What is true in any manner under consideration. See, truth is always going to be true. Yeah. Right. 
I don't know when you're telling the truth, you don't have to, you don't, you don't, you don't always be changing. Some people tell you something, <laughs> and you find out something else, the, the story begins to change. But if it was the truth at the beginning, it won't change. It don't change. Amen. And you don't have to cover that up. Everybody ever found yourself trying to cover up something you said before? You got to keep on saying something to cover it up. Amen. Make the, make the last lie look good. Amen. You keep covering it up. That's a, that's a hard thing to maintain. Because you, you, you can forget. You can forget. But if you know the truth, once you need to bring it up, it's always the truth. You already, you already know you know it. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for the spirit of truth. Thank God for the spirit of truth. Hallelujah. Let's stand. We're about to go. We thank God for everybody in the house of the Lord on this morning. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. I shall ever proclaim that Jesus he thank is the Lord Christ. God. Yes, yes. The Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. And so real. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. And thanks when the devil begin to speak to you. Say, Lord, what are you saying? Yes, sir. All right. I know it's in my mind, but Lord, what are you saying? You have to leave my report. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you for the gathering of your people. Thank you for your anointing, for your power. Thank you for the service. Yes. Be with us and watch over us and protect us, O oh God. Even as we leave this place, O oh God, let your presence be with us. We'll ever give you praises, glory, and honors in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.